Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mandy's Corner Pub. Come on in, pull up a stool, relax, and let's get back into Rising World Season 1. Okay guys, I was out running around, gathering resources, exploring a little, and I made a boo-boo. I fell into a rather large cave. And I noticed, while I was in there and trying to find my way back out, it looks like that probably goes to a dungeon. So, I have marked it on our map here. It's right up here. And possibly next episode, after I try to get everything together to build what I need to be able to make splints to heal my leg, we're going to go in there and we're going to see what we can find. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Okay, until then, guys, I am on a broken leg, so I'm going to be moving a little slow, and I am hoping the quality of this video is okay. Um, I have been playing around with my settings so I can get more into streaming and doing the videos and make the videos look a little better, so I've been getting a lot of advice from a lot of people and... Uh, just trying out a lot of different things so hopefully this looks okay uh give me give me your feedback and any suggestions you guys might have for recording this streaming i really appreciate it okay as you can tell i went ahead and i got some more done to our floor here and i started getting all walls up i actually kind of think that the colors in this cobblestone with the colors of these um plank blocks really complement each other. I think they look pretty good. And I did the window frames in kind of a, a grayish color to kind of blend in and match. I think it's going to look all right. But right now, we do need more blocks, uh, more of the plank blocks to finish our flooring up. And as you can see, our little goat friend there managed to get out of the cave down here, um, he finally figured out how to use this, one of the different paths I cut for him to get out. So, and he's just been kind of hanging around up here. I'm debating on whether or not to maybe just go ahead and build an enclosure for him and, you know, make him our pet. Speaking of such things, there are mods to do um, animal taming, among other things, for this game. And I have been checking into them trying them out a little bit here and there but i'm having a hard time getting a couple of them to work the main one i'm really interested in is the animal taming mod if any of you know anything about that can you please get in touch with me maybe help me figure out what i'm doing wrong the reason this isn't working because i really really want to try that one out and and have some fun with that there's uh also, in the new update, you can spawn in uh, NPCs. Problem is, you can't really interact with them much right now. We may spawn in a couple later after we build some more of our houses and stuff in our community. You know, maybe spawn some in to live in those houses or something. But for right now, I think we'll just stick with things the way they are for the time being. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more of this flooring down. I hope all of you have been doing well. I am really, really trying to get a schedule down pat that works well for me and for putting out, you know, decent content, hopefully good content. <laughs> And trying to um, possibly get into streaming more on Twitch. Just a lot of things I'm looking at doing. And of course, then there's Rise. You know, the first installment is already out. Rise Mind Over Matter will be out on June 22nd. And shortly after that will be Corner Pub. Later on this year will be Wishing on Stars, which is a project. It started out a short story. And people said they wanted more. 
so I'm going full length novel version with it. Have a couple of screenplays in the works and I'm also about to start a new series that will also be based within the gaming community called Permadeath. I'll fill you guys in a little bit more on the premise of that in a week or two. I'm still working out, kind of fine-tuning the details, you know. But if you follow me on Twitter, you saw that I tweeted out four images that we're considering using for the cover for Permadeath. I wanted everybody's input on it, you know, kind of wanted to get a vote, see which one everybody's leaning toward the most. And I've got a pretty good idea so far, but I can use more input, you know, always can use more input. So if you guys don't mind, hop over to my Twitter and kind of drop me a line, take a look at those pictures, drop me a line. Let me know which one you guys are rooting for. Oh, I hate having a broken leg in this game. I should probably just go ahead and concentrate on making the loom and the spinning wheel so I can go ahead and make splints to take care of this leg. But I really want to get this floor finished and get some more walls going. What I may do is after I call this episode for the day, then I may go ahead and do the grind to get the materials I need to make the loom and the spinning wheel and then go ahead and get some splints made up. There we go. Now, and if you guys, if any of you have a notion that you may want to help support either of my channels, any of the work we're trying to do, there are donation buttons on each of my channels and honestly in a lot of ways i would almost prefer instead of you doing that maybe just go to my website mandycollinsauthor.com and go to my online stores maybe buy some rise merchandise buy some homestead merchandise or buy your copy of rise or rise mind over matter that would help support more than anything and that way i know you guys are getting something really great in return now also coming up on my rise tuesday series i'm going to be doing interviews with all of the great content creators and streamers that participated in rise uh it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun let you guys get to know them a little more on a little more personal level uh the first interview will be done with cap I'm really excited for that. He's a really positive, upbeat, energetic guy. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'll announce the air date for his interview in a few days. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, a little bit of a sore, sore throat lately. But uh, after I announce his air date, I'll be announcing pretty soon after that the air dates for everybody else. And I really hope you guys tune in for that because we're going to show off a lot of great, amazing people and let you guys get to know them, know what they're all about. Maybe find yourself a, a new favorite, one of your favorite content creators or streamers. It, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. So please do join us for those. Yeah, you see, I, I'm actually running right now, guys. And this is how slow it is when you have a broken leg in this game. It is painful on so many levels. But yeah, that entrance I found is right out there. I was just running along, happy as could be. And then, boom! Fell straight in. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> Now, guys, I'm sorry. I probably will have to cut this one a little short because I did get behind this week. But I am slowly but surely getting a schedule together that really works for me and will allow me to start really staying on top of things. And I'm going to start posting pretty much, not all, but pretty much all of my YouTube videos to my Twitch as well. And when I stream on Twitch, I will post those to YouTube. That way everybody's kind of covered. 
nobody's missing anything so hopefully that'll work for you guys okay well I mainly just want to show you with this video tell you about the possible dungeon out yonder <laughs> and show you what I've done I haven't gotten as much done as I should have and I apologize for that I'm gonna call this one right here and like I said I think I'm gonna get on that grind to get the more of the materials we need to do more work to our little house and to go ahead and get everything made that I need to make splints so that I can stop you know limping around like a zombie here <laughs> anyway guys sorry it's short hopefully it's sweet next time will be longer and I really appreciate all you guys support in every way you guys are totally amazing you totally rock and let me tell you guys something I, I said something on Twitter the other day. It was a tweet I put out. Told everybody, good morning, go do something great today. And somebody came back and said, what if you don't have the resources to do something great? Okay, here's the thing. You've got a voice. You've got a smile. You've got a mind. There's your resources. That's all you need to do something great. Something great doesn't have to be some big grand gesture. Sometimes even the simplest, smallest things in life are the greatest and can do so much good you guys keep that in mind and until next time i'll catch y'all later have a good one bye bye